What's up, boys and girls? We're back with another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, boys. Today we're at Orlando on X again. Um, they got a new layout, like he just added some more stuff to the track. So we're gonna check that out. Um, today's video is just gonna be me working on fundamentals and the tips and tricks that I learned just from watching YouTube. Um, most of you guys know I haven't been riding it long, less than a year, so probably about like seven and a half months I've been riding total. So I'm just gonna focus on fundamentals, um, stand tight on the bike, uh, keep my body positioned the right way. And yeah, we're gonna take a little side lap and see what all they take. And then we're gonna try to see what we can do, boy. That's a little tabletop, okay? They changed that. A part of their new layout. So we're gonna try to go around, speed things up a little bit. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna go from there. Alright, we're going back out. Yeah, boys, so the drills I was talking about, um, stand-up drills, how I did on the first side lap, how I stood up all the whole way around the track. Um, so focusing on standing up drills, because um, I was told that I need to stand up more um, by one of the good riders. So I was like, okay, I'll try that. And um, actually listening, taking in the knowledge that they're throwing out for free. Um, I stood up, I had a, actually a better lap, better lap time at that, just by standing up more. Um, I was sitting down in a lot of places that I should be standing up in. So I was working on um, standing up drills the whole lap, for a couple laps actually, um, and then the one-handed drill. Um, so the one-handed drill, you're pretty much, you're standing up of course. Um, of course use your right hand, because that's your throttle hand, um, unless you did some weird conversion, who cares. But So use your right hand to control the throttle, and as you're standing up, it helps you squeeze the bike and make sure your feet and your body is in the right position. Uh, so say if you go give it gas, uh, 9 times out of 10, if you're not sure what you're doing with one hand, you're going to come back. But this drill helps you learn how to lean forward again in front of the power. So just like going off of a jump, you don't want to be behind the power because then that's how you're running back and do the air willy. So you want to be in front of the power, okay? So as you're in front of the power, the bike will tend to level itself out in the air. Um, I'm not that good at doing jumps. I could do a little bit of jumps, but with this blimp, when, as you see, I'm not really doing any jumps because once the bike's in the air, I only know how to brake tap and stop myself from nose, nose diving. Uh, once it goes sideways, I'm not really sure how to correct it. So that's how I end up falling on some of the videos. Um, like I just cased it in pack track the other day because the bike went sideways as I took off which is a result of me not um, squeezing the bike hard enough. Like with the Australian bikes, you definitely gotta give it a little more loving and squeezing that thing. Um, 
so yeah today we're just going to work on that we got the track pretty much to ourselves. there's a couple other guys out here so we're just working on fundamentals um getting the basics down since i never learned the actual basics i just came out here and tried to do everything and that's how i ended up falling and almost hurting myself so that's what today's drill is today one-handed and standing up all the way around squeezing the bike okay boys um if you're new to the channel like comment subscribe that's what this video is going to be um if you're interested in me um zooming or trying to zoom at least there's some more videos i'll leave some videos in the description for you guys to click on if you want to see that other action um this is also going to be a new track layout that they added on here so yeah boys we're gonna do our little standing up again and then we're gonna do the one hand again so pretty much one hand so one hand really is behind my back so i'm in front of the power like that one hand in front of the power of course i'm not going one hand over the jump bases because i'll be stupid because i can barely ride my damn self so i'm not gonna do that so it's just gonna be one hand on pretty much the straight places where i can actually get that good um get that good body feel and also not looking down because if you look down you're gonna go down so always look ahead in front of yourself look at the obstacles ahead because if you're looking down like this nine times out of ten you're gonna you're gonna go down that's just the reality of because you're wherever your eyes is facing that's pretty much where you're going to want to go well not facing but your eyes are looking that's pretty much where you're going to want to go so that little kick right there that thing just turned into the sideways and i wasn't even going fast i felt they kicked my back tire a little bit so that's how i almost ate it um, on that first lap i know this is a lot of talking um so if you want to skip all the talking getting all this free knowledge you can fast forward the video I'm not sure when I'm gonna shut up, but um, the wind out here is crazy right now. That's probably why I'm the only one out here on the track, as you see. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing a little bit more practices. Then I'll actually try to put the, what I practice to use. I'll see you guys once I put all the fundamentals down together. Um, if you wanna actually know how to do like the one-handed drill, there's a straight path right here. Um, I'm at Orlando and Max right now, so here's a clear path where you can learn how to do the one-handed drills as such. So the standing up drill, you probably can't see, but my, I'm on the balls of my feet, and then my heels are dropped. So with your heels dropped, you have that extra suspension, you have that extra, extra travel right there. Because you don't want to be like this, hugging the, um, with that safeguard over the brake and all that good stuff. Because you have no suspension travel, and you're going to hurt your nuts how I did in my pack track video which is going to be up on friday uh, i'm not sure what day this video is going to be up but you could watch the video before this one and that'll be the pack track video where i case the um the the tabletop and hurt my balls so i'll get off the bike and actually show you guys so how i'm standing it's pretty much on the balls of my feet like so then my heels are going to be dropped like that so not standing like standing tall just drop yeah i have a hole in my pants because i eat shit a lot so like this then drop your heels especially with these bikes they're they're skinnier so you want to definitely make sure you get that good body feel on the bike so you can feel what the bike is doing or you, you can let it do what it do but for me since i'm only new i've only been riding for less than a year so probably like seven and a half seven months i'm not gonna do nothing too stupid because i still don't know what the heck i'm doing just passed on the knowledge that i gathered riding with a lot of other talented riders so with all that said the wind kind of died down 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 what a little bit so yeah boys all right so i did all that now i'm gonna do the standing up drill on the flat surface i mean the one-handed so pretty much one-handed lean forward in front of the power slow drop your center of gravity once you're breaking okay I'm saying like okay like I'm actually what up you guys get it so standing feet is good in front of the power dropping my body rate down but notice my head is still over the over the bars like on top of the bar pad or the bars however you're, you're coming forth riding if I'm doing it wrong just let me know and I'll try to correct it so I can better my riding skills as well so in front of the power leaning in front of the power Lower down, breaking, drop the center of gravity. Front of the power, drop the center of gravity. So pretty much like that. Just gonna keep doing that for a little bit, um, just to help my 
body mechanic so I can get that right body posture. So yeah, boys, we're gonna keep trying to do that. I'll do a couple more laps where I'm not practicing for you guys, so this video is just gonna be like a little video like that. That big 450, boys! Woo! Well, I was not waiting myself. In front of the tower, standing up throughout the turn. Drop down at the apex of the turn. Get that bad boy gas up. Woo! jump right there right because boy if you don't your bike going sideways apex of the turn jump down come back up turn it up body feels good feet are good we, we felt good to hit that jump right there we felt good to hit that one right there now apex of the turn don't look down look up sideways yeah no nah, not jumping in the air today boys because every time i go up in the air the wind just pushing me sideways but the corners are pretty are pretty good so to show that little bit of knowledge that you got that i learned over the course of the seven months that i've been riding just regular dirt um i haven't been riding track that much but i'm trying to get into the riding track a lot more just to better my um skills and widen my skill set it doesn't hurt to learn more from the advanced riders that's willing to help you just take that knowledge and apply it to how it best fits you and keep at it boys with all that being said boys ride safe